राइट वेलकम बैक सुनाई फ्यूर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंजीनियर लाइक मी हाई चांसेस यू यूजिंग दिस टूल कॉल एस टेरा फॉर्म टू राइट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑन एज यूर गूगल और ए डब्ल्यू एस और फॉर दैट मैटर एनी क्लाउड प्रोवाइडर इन दिस सेशन एम गोन टॉक अबाउट थ्री टॉप टूल्स टॉप टूल्स ऑफ टेरा फॉर्म विच आर ओपन सोर्स एंड यू कैन यूज इट फॉर सिक्योरिटी लेंटिंग और एनी सिंटेक्स चेकिंग और वेलनेबिलिटी चेकिंग फॉर योर टेराफॉर्म कोड सो विदाउट फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट वन इन माई लिस्ट इज टेराफॉर्म सिक्योरिटी और आई टी एफ सेक नाउ दिस इज द टूल विच यू कैन अगेन ऑल ऑफ द टूल विच एम गोना speaking about today is going to be open source so there is no license uh, required or no proprietorship is needed so you can just download it using brew or whatever is deemed appropriate hook it up with your source code repository and get started these tools are really handy if you're writing terraform code the first one is tfsec which checks any misconfiguration across any of the cloud provider beat Google Cloud, Azure, or AWS. It has got hundreds of built-in rules, so you don't have to write anything from scratch. It scans all of your Terraform module and evaluate if there are any vulnerabilities or security issues in your Terraform code. For example, now this one we're creating a load balancer listener rule, which is opened on AT, and the protocol is HTTP. Now. you you run the tfsec against this code locally or pipeline wherever it could be tells you that elb http not used your traffic is not protected and the resolution could be it gives you the resolution also that's the best part i like lot of other tools which will just give you that this is what vulnerable but doesn't give you any resolution so this one gives you resolution as well it's asking you to go from 82443 from http to https to benefit from dls security feature and it gives you a url also where you can go and check whether the information given by ddfsec is right or not and it kind of gives you uh, how many problems were detected and all then you can click on this ui and this is going to take you to the screenshot or whatever deemed appropriate in terms of installation pretty easy if you've got brew you could just install using a single command called as brew install dfsec If you got a Windows machine, you could use the Chocolatey installer, and you've got Scoop as well. And then you, if you don't have Brew, you could simply use the curl to install it on your local, right? So, and uses is pretty simple. You type in tfsec, and then your registry or directory wherever your code is. If no directory specified, the current working directory will be used. and they can use it the docker as well you could just run it as a container it comes with an extension for visual studio code as well i'm not sure if it comes with intellij or some other tool but it generally gives you for example if you want to ignore something which you know that uh, you've opened a 0.0 cider which you shouldn't but if you know that you could simply use the hash and uh, tell the dfsec to ignore these rule or you can use something like this if you're not sure which line to add comment on uh, just check the dfsec output and you can ignore the multiple rules by just concatenating the rules on a single line all right and you can disable checks as well that um, these are the apis wherein you should disable the checks current checks which it supports is does all bunch of aws checks it does all bunch of azure gcp cloud stack digital ocean kubernetes checks as well and then you've got open stack and oracle checks as well and you can have these checks on your ci pipeline as well so i hope this was informative now i'm going to move on to the next tool which is called as tf lend now again an open source tool um is a framework again tf lend uh, and provide is, is provided by plugin and the fe- key features are it provides error checks for all the major cloud like aws azure and then gcp it typically warn about the linting errors uh, deprecated syntax unused declaration empty variables enforce best practices in the naming convention as well again the installation is pretty simple when it comes to open source could use a curl command or a brew install tf lend and then it checks the verification you can install using chocolate as well chocolatey as well 
Um, so in order to get started, um, the usage would be over here. If you want to do a lint, you could get started. You could uh, uh, either do it for the current directory or anything else. Now let's take a look at probably the TF lint. So all of the, it, it's written in Go, just like Terraform. Terraform is also written in Go and all of the code is, is available over here. You can go check it out. You could have all the plugins over as well, which checks uh, the checksum discoveries and all that. Uh, in order to get started, it's available most of them in the documentation, which is again, uh, tells you how to uh, how to install it and what does it check so again pretty simple to get started uh, and these are the parameters it accepts uh, which module which working directory so yeah works with your pipeline works with on your local as well now the last and the third tool is is new in the market called as terra cube pretty excited about this tool because it claims that it is an alternative open source alternative to Terraform Enterprise. Now what happens is you get a GUI graphical user interface to run all of your Terraform code and that's what essentially your Terraform cloud also does. So open source is kind of taking over what's being offered by Terraform cloud which is paid feature I guess it charges you almost five dollars per user um, so it, it's it's a very good alternative to the Terraform cloud so it tells you that it you get access to the module registry you get custom workflow as well you get to visualize the state file as well into the UI and then you can schedule jobs also you don't want to run Terraform now probably you want to run after a couple of hours or weekends or whenever deemed appropriate you can schedule the job using the UI also you can do the RBAC also which is one of the most hyped feature in Terraform cloud that's what they kind of that's their USP of Terraform cloud and all of those features you kind of getting into the UI and the open source tool as well it easily integrates with most of the cloud provider be it AWS, GCP or Azure and it integrates with any of the version control system as well could be github gitlab bitbucket or azure devops it then uh, combines with the modern age containers platform as well could be kubernetes and the chaos engineering platform as well if you look at the documentation again get started it tells you how to get started how to install it uh, integrates with most of the most of the um, cloud provider it provides you the workspace as well now this is again one of the core feature of terraform cloud but it provides you all of that it provides you the variable variable set as well again a very core feature of terraform cloud comes in your uh, open source free version as well so i think this is really handy because all of the feature which is now available in the uh, terraform cloud this tool terraform terra cube is claiming that it has got all of those tools so that's that's going to be really handy if you go to the github the source code is available uh, let's try to check TerraCube and it's written in Java unlike other uh, open source tool which is written in Golang uh, in terms of installation is pretty easy uh, you could install it using uh, um, using a docker command as a container or you could install it um, and then expose the UI using the port forward mechanism so yeah, pretty handy. I think uh, um, written as, as mentioned over here, it's majorly written in uh, uh, Java. 63% uh, of the code, bit of JavaScript used, bit of shell, and to the other. So highly encouraged to go and look at this tool, which claims to be the alternative, open source alternative to Terraform Cloud. All right, I haven't gotten plethora of tools, but these three tools I think uh, are highly used. Uh, pretty pretty favorite in terms of in the community pretty widely used got a huge community when it comes to tfsec and tf lint uh, used heavily by a lot of users and developer and devops enthusiasts i encourage you to take a look at them and if you like these videos let me know i can do a demo of all of these tools as well all right i hope this was informative i'll see you in another session thank you